Hello and welcome to this overview of Statapult version 3. Today I'm just going to highlight some of the changes made in the newest version of Statapult and uh, show what these mean for the app. So as ever you start Statapult from your main screen you will be prompted to go to the game setup screen. So I'm going to the game setup screen I'm going to retrieve a previously saved squad uh, and what I'm going to do is enter a team name and opposition name and I'll also enter a game description for this game. I'll then save the game data to start the new game. So now that I've saved the game data, I want to go into my settings screen and show that we now have location-based KPIs. So at the beginning, I'm going to turn those off. I'll show how they're used later on. So as I start the game, I'm going to select player nine for 50-51. Player 8 for one, a 50 51, and player 9 again for a 50 51. I'm also going to show if you select free 1, which I did there, uh, it's just assigned against the player. So if I order by 50 51, you see player 9 is 1 2, player 8 is 1 1. I'm going to switch that back to numbers now. So if we go to the system settings and location based KPIs, I want to turn it on for freeze conceded and freeze one. So we can have the location for a free conceded. So if I hit free one, select the location on the pitch where the free was one, that's saved against that data. So now if I go to the zonal charts and select uh, freeze one first half, so in the zone you'll see there's a total of one freeze, one in that area of the pitch. So location-based KPIs can be enabled for any of the um, statistics that you wish to record. So it opens a world of possibilities for um, tracking different aspects of the game across different zones on the pitch. So once again, we want to hit a shot, select a player for a shot, and I'm going to select here. That was a point from a free, select player 15, a shot. I'm going to sign this as um, wide. From play. Finally, I'm going to select player 12, also a shot, and I'm going to select this as a point from play. So if we go to the zonal charts, we'll now see that we have our um, shot for the chart area, um, and we also have a shot from the free that we took from center field. Once again, opposition shots, select an area on the pitch where the shot's from, and we're going to assign that as a point from play and now we get to enter the opposition player who took the shot. So this is a new feature in version 3 that allows us to assign uh, shots against opposition players. Um, this data then can be viewed in the uh, game overview PDF during the game or at the end of the game. So it just gives us some more additional information about our opposition. So I'm just going to assign another opposition shot and we will look at this in the zonal data. So in zonal charts, I can now select the opposition shots from play. First half, and you'll see there's one point uh, and total shots in that area, and the second shot from free is marked as a wide. So I select a puck out now for the home team, and now with the opposition of clean catch, one and last for each team, and the breaking ball. So I'm going to select clean catch one by the home team, and assign against a player number. So again, select another puck out and say that was the opposition, won a breaking ball and assign it against a player. Finally, I'm going to do uh, another breaking ball, won by the home team. So now if we switch once again to the zonal charts and select De La Salle, uh, puck outs first half. You'll see the breakdown of clean catch, uh, breaking balls for home or opposition, and the total puck outs that it went to that zone. So now on your screen, instead of getting just the one and lost in the zone, you get a breakdown of what the puck out was and the outcome. So now we select an opposition puck out, and select uh, home team won it. Clean catch. Um, after this, we're going to flick to the stat overview screen. From here you can uh, view the stat overview as previous versions of Statapult or you can click view game summary 
which will give you a view of the uh, game summary PDF while the game is running. So as you enter data throughout the game and flick back and forth between the uh, game summary and stat overview or the main stat entry screen, this game summary uh, will update as you enter data. Uh, so you can see through it. Uh, there's information there about uh, shots, puck outs, um, top stat performers um, in each of the uh, chosen KPIs. You also can select the export game data uh, to wrap up all the game data and game overviews, shot charts, um, location based KPI charts and the uh, other overviews and you can email that yourself by clicking the export game data. So when we click that, you'll see that the app goes off and compiles all the data and comes up with an email screen. So we're going to email this to um, myself so I can just show you uh, the data as it comes to uh, our email account. So the email has been sent now. So um, what I'll do is I'll go across to the email just to show the uh, export data that has been sent for the current game. So uh, we'll just wait for the email to arrive in. So it's arrived in, so we click on the email that's been sent. So you'll see it's downloading the uh, attachments that have been sent from Statapult. Uh, so the first one we'll just have a look at is the um, charts. So if we click into this, we're able to see the shots from play. Um, first half, we can go to a second half data from freeze. Uh, puck outs, first half, second half below it. Uh, that's all for the home team. Then the opposition uh, data, the same. If we flick all the way to the end, the uh, location-based KPI that we're recording, which is for free one. So if you see here, uh, as we go to the bottom in the first half, you'll see here that a free has been shown in this zone. So um, we'll now have a look at one of the other attachments. So if we look at the game summary attachment, um, this is the one that we were able to see within the app earlier. So after a game and when you email it, this will be completely filled out with all the information uh, from the game. You also have all the raw data if you want to do any further analysis yourself. Uh, so that's an example of some of the raw data from a score summary from scores. We have our shot summaries, which is an overview of all the shots that were taken and the half that were taken in. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time to uh, look at this overview of Statable version 3 and some of the new features that we have in Statable and some of the existing uh, features there already. If you have any questions, queries, any um, recommendations or requests, please don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, the website is www.statapultsoftware.com and you can reach me at niall at So once again, thank you very much.